Hey guys, I'm Kirsten with Curtis, and you're about to play some games with Curtis. Hello, I am Curtis, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I am mentally unstable, and this is the only way to keep me in control of my inner demons trying to break loose. So, Star Wars Battlefront is a highly anticipated game, but a lot of people have shown hate towards it lately. This is happening before, well, this was happening before any video footage was released, and for good reason. The gist of it was there was no campaign, there is now, and there was no space battles or ground to space battles as originally promised. And there also wasn't different Star Wars era battles with units like the clone troopers and droids. Also, the limit from a 64 player server down to 40 rustled some jimmies. But don't fret, this is EA we're talking about. They may have said they won't do these things, but trust me, they will. They really will. I've worked for EA in the past for almost two years, and I learned one thing. They are like a vampire parasite in the gaming industry. They suck the life force out of anything they touch. Don't get me wrong, they're a good company and they've done some great stuff in the past, but with EA it's all about numbers. As an employee, you're a number, and their games are numbers, and EA only care about getting the most out of their numbers. Everything else is just a secondary priority. So when EA saw a lot of interest for the space battles and different era battles, they saw numbers. Keyword of the day of EA, numbers. They removed it and got a lot of backlash, but this only fueled what they most definitely secretly have planned, which is DLC, EA's favorite word. Sims 4 anyone? DICE General Manager Patrick Bash had this to say about space battles. We want players to stay in the same environment. We don't want players to fly off and do something over here. It's all about the battlefront experience. So we want to keep you in the atmosphere and fighting with the infantry. Which does make sense to a degree, but this was definitely lost in translation. Let me translate this for you properly. What Patrick is actually saying is, Myself and EA have realised the level of interest to space battles and different era battles, and we will tell people we couldn't add it when really we could and we will add it to the game later on with a lot of promised features that got cut from the original game and we'll charge all you nerds £15 per DLC and make a nice profit. ka -ching! Space battles, £15. Different era battles, £15. New maps, £20. Season pass, £40. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Now, trust me when I say this, Space Battles is definitely going to come out as well as all the other features that got cut from the original plan. The only difference is, yet again, EA realised the level of interest and they knew they could make a lot of money from us for that content. Again. Just like Sims 4. Now, personally, I'm growing tired of DLC because there's a fine line between supporting a developer and greed. EA definitely resemble the latter, as they only release half games these days and you have to pay for the rest, which is just very sad. Original Bungie knew how to do DLC. You paid $6.99 and you got yourself some really awesome maps, around, what was it, 3 to 6, sometimes 4? Which was worth it in my opinion, and those DLC maps ended up becoming some of the fan favourite maps of the game. Lockout, Ivory Tower, Ascension, these maps were used and recycled again and again in Halo games, or numerous Halo games, or released as future DLC, as well as people making them in Forge and playing them. They were really good maps. Now, I will still get Battlefront, and loads more features will come out for the game. Just know it will come with a DLC price tag, because this is EA we're talking about. They may say that they're not going to do something, or they had to cut it from the game from the original plan, which they, they, they could have done it, of course they could, but they just know they're going to be able to rape us with DLC prices. Thanks for watching my video and if you're new, subscribe to keep me from going completely insane. My doctor tells me that YouTube is helping me along my path to sanity, but I need your help to keep going down that path. Also, I've been using this new website called Fackybock. It's still in alpha, but go like my page. I also use Twitter to post all my appalling selfies and shameless channel promotions. I wouldn't follow me either, but please do. I need friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.